All right, now one of the things I wanna talk about real quick are the reasons why the risk of losing muscle is low when dieting, unless your body fat is really low. Now the first thing you need to understand is this, the more fat you have, the more energy you have to fuel muscle repair and growth, meaning the leaner you get, the more your body's gonna to wanna to hold on to its energy for more vital stuff than building and repairing muscle. Also, the more fat you have, the more leptin you produce, less fat equals less leptin, which makes it harder to lose fat by decreasing metabolic rate, which it does in part by making you feel lazier, and that can affect your workouts and make it harder to hold on to muscle, and also by increasing hunger. So the way it works is like this. The longer you diet, the more weight you lose, the more cortisol goes up, the more mTOR and IGF-1 go down, testosterone can go down as well, and all of that makes it harder to build and repair muscle. Remember, to build and repair muscle, you need four things. Mechanical stimulus, sufficient protein, sufficient energy, and a positive anabolic hormone balance. This is why from 30% body fat down to 20% body fat, you shouldn't lose any muscle at all. In fact, you should be able to gain muscle as easily as if you're in a caloric surplus. From 20% down to 15%, you still shouldn't lose muscle. You still should be able to gain muscle, just not as easy as in a caloric surplus. From 15% down to 10%, you still shouldn't lose muscle, although it might be harder to build muscle. From 10% down to 8%, the risk of losing muscle is small, and between 5 and 7% body fat, the likelihood of losing muscle dramatically increases.